हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स ग्रो आई होप यू आर वेरी फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट इन योर लाइफ सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डेप्थ एरिया ड्यूरेशन कर्व्स सो दिस डेप्थ एरिया ड्यूरेशन कर्व्स आर आल्सो नोन एज डी ए डी कर्व्स सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस कर्व्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम a dad which is depth area duration curve expresses graphically the relation between progressively decreasing average depth of rainfall which is occurring progressively increasing area from the center of the storm outwards to its edge for a given duration of rainfall so what does it mean just try to understand so let us see Uh, this graph so here you can see this graph here there are three terms the first term is maximum average depth which is in centimeter and it is plotted on y axis on the normal scale on x axis we are having the area in kilometer square which is plotted on the logarithmic scale and there are various plots for the different duration of rainfall so in the depth area duration curve what we can see here that whenever the area of rainfall increases means the area over which this rainfall is occurring or in other words what we can say that the whenever the distance of center of storm is increasing indirectly area is increasing then this maximum average depth which is occurring over the catchment will going to reduce so i am tracing this graph so here what you can see as we move here the area is increasing and the ma maximum average depth is decreasing so this is the one finding for this depth area duration curve that whenever the area of uh, the area over which rainfall is occurring increases the maximum average depth is going to reduce now second finding is for a rainfall of a given duration the average depth decreases with the area is an exponential function given by so here in this formula you can see uh, these three terms which is p bar it is the average depth in centimeter which is occurring over an area of a kilometer square p node is the highest amount of rainfall in centimeter which is occurring at the center of the storm and k and n is the constant for a given reason so from this expression what you can conclude that whenever the area over which this rainfall is occurring increases the average depth in centimeter will going to reduce because as a increases this complete term which is in bracket increases and this term is increasing but here is a negative sign and here it is in terms of power so e raised to the power minus some constant so as this term is increasing this complete terms is going to reduce and the p bar is going to reduce so what we can see here that as the area over which uh, over rainfall event is occurring increases the average depth in centimeter over uh, the average depth in centimeter over an area will going to reduce so here in this graph you can see that as the area is increasing the maximum average depth is going to reduce why because of this expression which is here so now in this graph you understand that how this maximum average depth reduces with an increase in the area and it is obvious if the duration of rainfall increases the maximum average depth will also increase so for one over the maximum average depth is here and for 6 over it is here which is higher for 12 over duration the maximum average depth is high 
and for the 18 hours of rainfall duration the depth maximum average depth is highest so the another conclusion we can make that as the duration of rainfall increases the maximum average depth is also increases so now based on this understanding we can solve this question the question says the maximum average depth due to one day one day means 24 hour storm over an area of 100 km square is 100 mm depth area duration curves indicate that for the same area of 100 km square the maximum average depth for a 3 hour storm will be so the question says that for a event uh, the maximum average depth is 100 mm which is occurring for 24 hours over a, an area of 100 km square and now the area is same as 100 km square but the duration of rainfall is reduced by three uh, reduced to three over and in this case we have to find the maximum average depth so here you can see the graph the area is given as 100 km square for both storm for 24 hour storm and for three hour storm so for 100 km square a event of one day means 24 hour is occurring and the maximum average depth is 100 mm or 10 centimeter and now it is asking that what is the maximum average depth which is occurring over an area of 100 km square for the three hour rainfall duration so here you can see that the for the 100 km square area and the rainfall duration in is 3 hour the maximum average depth will be here and for 24 hour duration 100 km square area the maximum average depth is given as 10 cm so for the second part the maximum average, average depth for the 3 hour uh, rainfall duration and for the 100 km square area will be lesser than 10 cm because this value is below uh, this point so th the value at this point means the value of maximum average depth here will be lesser than the 10 cm so the answer for this question will be option number c that for the same area and for the three hours storm the maximum average depth is going to reduce and it will be less than the 100 mm as we have seen in this graph so the value will be somewhere here which is less than the 10 centimeter or 100 mm so this is all about the depth area duration curve i hope you like this video and find it informative if you really like this video make sure you hit that like button you can subscribe our channel let's grow for more informative videos so thank you so much to watch this lesson till the end okay take care bye, -bye.